Bang on everybody and welcome back to another review. So today we've got Matthews Kuna. We're, gonna, we're just going to say Kuna because it's easy. And I'm not going to try to pronounce his full name because his full name is Matthews Santos Canario da Kuna. So I'm not going to say that every time he touches a ball, but hopefully everyone is good today. Today we have a Kuna review who is a part of the team of the week. For those of you that don't know, he had a winter refresh last year and he was absolutely cracked out of his mind. A five star weak foot winter refresh striker and a good thing with this card, you can play him left mid, left wing striker, wherever you want. Before we get into this, if you guys are new, make sure to smash a like and subscribe with the notifications bell on because we will be streaming foot champs rewards tonight which is in a few hours and a massive grow to the final pack opening on Saturday or Friday when the promo is out. So without further ado boys let's hop in to his player bio attributes and then we have all of the pre-recorded gameplay and I'm not going to spoil it but it's a good video. So starting off he is coming in at 6 foot tall with high low work rates, preferred foot is right and he is a 4 star skill mover, skill mover, 4 star skiller and a 4 star weak footer. So some very nice stats, for high low will be very exceptional, he'll be a great attacker six foot as well when it comes to trying to win their ball and uh, trying to hit the ball he will be absolutely exceptional in that aspect um, but yeah he will be when you're six foot it does come with its pros and cons with a hunter he goes to 94 pace which without a doubt go with a hunter voice he goes to 93 acceleration 94 sprint speed he goes to 96 finishing 87 attacking positioning 87 shot power, 94 volleys, and 84 penalties. He's honestly, his shooting and his shooting and pace is just going to be jacked with a hunter. Passing is decent. Dribbling is pretty damn good with 87 agility, 82 balance. He will feel very good moving on the ball. He's got some very nice composure there as well. Saving with physical, decently well-rounded. 78 jumping with 72 hitting accuracy, and 79 stamina. Strength and aggression is not great, but as a left mid slash striker it is fine so obviously as I was saying before his natural position is a left mid but I can't I'm not going to spoil it but he was shit at left mid but don't worry we do move him up to strike it and you'll see what happens traits he does have outside of a foot shot and a flare trait which are both some extremely extremely good traits to have especially the outside of a foot shot absolutely phenomenal trait and in my opinion for a striker slash attacker outside of a foot shot and a finesse shot trait are the best traits possible as for the custom tactics we're playing him in a 4 triple 2 we start him at left cam but don't worry we do change him up to striker just because he was not performing and he literally not going to spoil it but he performed his heart out at striker for the left cam we used him on get into the box for cross and drift wide which as you can see in the clip here we do move him up to striker because spoiler alert I'm, I'm going to cut all of the stuff out beforehand because he played absolutely terrible at left cam. When I say terrible, absolutely terrible at left cam. So when he did start transitioning to the striker, that's when I really started to notice how cracked this card was. As you can see, we just changed him to striker. So the custom tactics aren't working as of yet and he's still playing as a left cam. But a very good run by him there, uh, as you saw earlier. And what I like about this card is he's extremely fast. And with once he's six foot, he's a little bit clunky. Yes, he is a little bit clunky. But the thing is, he has the agility, he has the balance to back it up. As you can see, I'm fuming at this point. We're dominating the game straight back to him. I am fuming. At this point, I'm like, come on, man. Why? 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 But that's just ridiculous. But it's 1-0. Boys, Kuna's a striker. We need a goal here. And the man himself, Kuna, pretty sure it's how you pronounce it, is in the right position. Alexander Arnold wins it. Gives that end to Kuna in a perfect position. Bangs that near post. Bangs that near post. Matheus Kuna. I'm probably butchering that. I am probably butchering that. But what a sensational goal in the right position. That is just what you love to see, boys. So, so far, one game, one goal. We're 1-1. One, one. We're looking for a winner. As you can see, he's progressing with the ball. Gives that nice ball through to Salah. And I did find his passing was actually very good as well. I did find his passing along with his pace, along with his shooting and dribbling, was the highlights of his card. He's like a perfectly well-rounded winger, but looking at his base stats, he's like, you'd think he'd be a good winger, but he's just not. He's just not, or a left mid, in my opinion. I feel like he's just, as a left mid, left cam, he's too tall. You don't see much six foot tall right wings, left wings. Usually you see like agile left wings, agile right wings, kind of like a Salah, kind of like a Hazard. They're all like five foot seven, five foot nine. So they, are, they feel good on the ball. Kuna is a different one. As you can see, he goes for a run here, which is really good. But on the wing, I just do not like having a six foot tall 
very quote unquote linky slash clunky player. That's why I moved into striker, and I am glad I did because this game in particular, we went two, we won it two one from one nil down. We won two one. He got on a score sheet, getting a goal. So the second game here, this is where he performed his heart out, boys. We go one nil down, seven minutes in. I'm like, this can't get any worse. This cannot get any worse. I'm just playing like absolute garbage. One nil down, it can't get any worse. Little did I know it got worse. It got worse. He sweats it, and we're two nil down, twelve minutes in. I'm like, do I quit? I'm like, no, I'm not gonna quit. We're putting Kuna up to striker. Let's see if he can get something from it. And look at this, boys. Kuna goes for a run, he goes through, passes it into Oba, that is a very good assist, that's what I'm talking about with his pace, he literally blitzes, blitzes, blitzes through the defense, and easy does it, he just uh, gives that into Aubameyang, we go 3-1 down here, and I'm like, okay, that goal was pointless, we're still two goals behind, we need something, and very, very quick, and the boys... Kuna had the game of his life. A very nice pass. He runs straight back into position. He claims that ball. He goes for a run. He's running through four defenders. Four defenders. He passes it in the box. Assist of the freaking game. Runs through four defenders to get that assist through. Let that sink in, boys. Let that sink in. As you can see, Kuna making that run. Gives that over the top. But that's a good thing with him. At striker, you have him on get in behind. He will make runs like that, which is where he's best at. Once again, Kuna, Mafios Kuna. Kuna gives that into Aubameyang, Aubameyang progresses with it, and Kuna goes back into the box, but uh, he, that's a get into the box as well, he is there for it, but obviously he just couldn't win the header, so at this point we're still 3-2 down, and I'm like, maybe if we're lucky, we can get a draw, boys, what you're about to witness is history, the rest is history, 3-2 down, we started off with a two goal, uh, a two goal minus lead, we're two goals down, right, Aubameyang, Kuna starts making that run, I'm sorry, Salah starts making that run, give that into Aubameyang, Kuna starts making that run, we give that through, he takes a touch, takes on the defender, every shot he takes it goes in, it's 3-3, free free. And boys, I was like, wow, from two goals down to make it 3-3, Kuna with one goal and one assist of the season, assist of the game. I was honestly, I was, I was ecstatic, ecstatic is that word? I was honestly very, very happy with him. And then once again, 3-3, free, free, 78 minutes in, watch this one boys, Aubameyang goes for a run, Aubameyang fake shots in, there we go, fake shot in, boy, what, what a finish, that is just Aubameyang, he, he's just as good in FIFA as he is in real life, we do win 4-3, from two goals down, we take the win 4-3, and Kuna with a massive, massive shift, the man was honestly, honestly on point, he was just sensational, that's the only words I can describe him, especially for 17,000 coins, as you can see on the screen, his pros and cons, it's a big one, it is a big list, starting off with his pros is his pace, his shooting, his passing, his dribbling, his high low work rates, or his high attacking work rates, he was everywhere where I needed him, his 4 star, 4 star, his outside of a foot shot trait, and most importantly, uh, his cons is nothing. His, his cons are nothing, and that's what makes this card absolutely incredible. You could debate being six foot tall with the body type he has of uh, tall and linky. It does get in the way because it is clunky. That's why I recommend using him as a striker. Do not use him as a left cam or a left mid, just because it just won't work out too well. So, honestly, he's got no cons at all. It's not con worthy. And looking at that pros list, it is a massive list. In two games, he's gotten two goals and two assists. So he's averaging two goals slash assists per 90 minutes. That's two goals per game, two goals or assists per game in Division 2. I believe Division, I'm 1,800 points, which is bang on in the middle of Division 2 and Division 1. So it's not like these games are easy. And if he's scoring and slash assisting to a match, is absolutely sensational. This card was nothing, nothing but insane. Nothing but insane. Overall, lads, for the recommended Kim style, it has to be a hunter. He was exceptional with a hunter. And is he worth it for me? 10 out of 10. He was insane, and obviously he is worth it. He was just next level. If you got him in your red picks, get him in your team right now. If you don't got, if you just want to look at a uh, player to buy, and he's on your list, buy him right now. You will not regret it. Anyway, lads, hopefully this review did help you out. Remember, if you are new, make sure to drop a like and subscribe for more reviews and live streams. And until next time, peace out, boys.